What's up guys, Philip with Trade Genius. Another look at on-chain data as a indicator for when to buy and sell Bitcoin. This one's called reserve risk. And so I'm gonna talk about what reserve risk is, how to read this indicator, where to go to look for it, and uh, the data behind it. So let's dive into this video and check this out. Trade Genius. All right, guys, so we're talking about an uh, indicator called reserve risk. And let's just start off with what it is or how it's calculated. It's the Bitcoin price divided by HODL bank. So we're going to talk about a couple of concepts that you need to understand so you better understand how this indicator works. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of things that play into how they calculate all this. So there's a thing called Bitcoin days destroyed. And you'll need to understand that primarily. And then we're going to talk about the value of those destroyed days and then how they calculate this to get to HODL bank. All right. So Bitcoin days destroyed equals when a Bitcoin is sitting in a wallet, it is accruing Bitcoin days. So it's like a measure of how much HODLing is going on, for example. When it's sold, uh, then those days are destroyed so basically if it's sitting in a wallet for a long time it's accruing bitcoin days when it moves out of that wallet those days are destroyed all right so for example one bitcoin hold it in my wallet for seven days then you sell it you've destroyed seven bitcoin days when you move it from one wallet to a new wallet um, it's just they're not really nothing's really destroyed it's just how many hodling days have been destroyed okay so now that you understand that concept, what they do is they'll take and basically try to value those days destroyed. So when the, basically the amount of coins that are being hodled are assigned a value. So what they do is they then take that and they take um, the median of that. So median value of coins destroyed is what they've come up with is this formula to do to give a value to the amount of coins being destroyed and so what that means is black is the price of bitcoin red is the value of coins uh, or days days that were hodled have been destroyed what the value of that is so when we're getting toward market tops what invariably happens is the value of the uh, days destroyed gets really high that means that a lot of long-term holders are selling and it quite often, almost every time, correlates with peaks in the market. So what they've done is they've taken this aggregate value of, of this, okay, and they've basically created uh, what they call HODL bank. So again, at the aggregate dollar amount of this opportunity cost over time, uh, which is the value or the median value of the days destroyed, and they get HODL bank. So, they take HODL bank and they divide it that value by the price of Bitcoin. Okay, so this is this is HODL bank. That's the value that they derive by how many days uh, have been destroyed, HODL days, and that ratio of HODL bank divided by Bitcoin price gives you the reserve bank. It's just a ratio of those two numbers, and it does a really good job of showing peaks. And if you notice this this range, this upper band range, basically called the tops on these all these major cyclical tops that we've had. Now I would say that this early data here, because of just how new the market was and immature the market was, you probably had some relatively higher spikes, but as more liquidity got into the system, uh, I think now you've got a really good idea of what overbought consists of when it comes to the reserve ratio. So as you can see, we've come off of the top uh, overbought area so basically a sell indication that that's time to go this is a weekly chart and then we dipped into the buy zone so uh, basically from november all the way into uh, till we got out of it in april you know that was your sweet spot now we're getting back into it again and as we discussed in the last on-chain analysis video with mvrv you'll notice that what levels that we've come out of this bear market to 2012 if you look notice it aligns up to the top of where we just hit 
uh, when we recently came up to near 14,000. But notice the reserve ratio is just like it was in 2012 at that top. And then it took a break, comes back down into the zone. And that's basically what we're doing now. And then what we can expect to see is usually we get a run into fourth quarter. So we'll keep an eye on these levels that 2012 put in there as far as uh, the next highs that come into play. Because again, we're looking a lot more like the 2012 uh, metrics than the 2015, 2016 metrics. So let's keep an eye on that. But again, if you're looking for like long-term entries, we're back in that sweet spot again. When you get into this zone here, when we start talking about long-term valuations for Bitcoin, getting to $100,000, uh, we're going to talk about that in a subsequent video. A German bank is actually expecting that type of valuation. You know, this. You know, you're not going to ever pick the bottom perfectly, but you can pick general areas of where price bottomed out, and that's all you can really do. And long term on the chart, you're going to look uh, you're going to look really good as far as that investment long term. So anyway, guys, just another indicator on chain analysis, really unique to Bitcoin because of the transparency of the blockchain. So you can run these types of calculations and see where these types of ratios uh, become extreme, and gives you a real good indication of when to purchase Bitcoin or add to your holdings. Again, this is from lookintobitcoin.com. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Please hit like and subscribe. I love giving you this content and that really helps out our channel. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.